la la la. This is F1 Esports world champion Lucas Blakely, and in today's video, I'm gonna end his entire career. Hopefully, anyway. Let's get going. Driving for the official McLaren Shadow Esports team, the Scotsman often practices for countless hours each day. Whilst also making the occasional appearance in real life Formula Ford and GB4 racing, he very much is a definition of a top level professional esports racer. Esports, for those who don't know, like my nan, is short for electronic sports, and is basically the name for any competitive competitions that take place on video games, both online and sometimes in person at LAN events. Now, motorsport esports are a little bit different than others, like, say, FIFA or Call of Duty, since to play those, you don't actually have to run around and kick a football or carry an AK. 47 around with you everywhere, although most of the American players do still do that. However, with motorsport, the crossover between the virtual world and the real world is much less dramatic, with the wheel and pedal setup being the same both on the sim as it is in the real car. So much so, many real world F1 drivers, endurance drivers, NASCAR drivers, the list goes on, use sim racing to both practice their skills and also just to race for fun. But still, it's not quite the same thing, is it? These pro players are still just gamers, right? They can't be that fast, surely? Well, today, I'm gonna find out, as I have just 24 hours to try and beat the lap time of one of YouTube's most prolific sim racers and before mentioned F1 Esports world champion, Lucas Blakely. Lord help me. So for this challenge, we're jumping on F1 23 and we're going to be lapping the Red Bull ring in Austria. Lucas has just three laps to set a time, whilst I have 24 hours. This track should be one of the easier options since there's only 10 corners for me to master. And also, Lucas only got P7 in qualifying last time he was there for the F1 Esports Championship, so I mean, he's basically washed. Look at that gap to pole. Embarrassing. <laughs> However, lads, I'm not phased by Mr. Blakely. He's got all the pressure on him in this situation. He's going to waste all his time worrying about his setup, his racing line. How many people are going to see him lose to a man who's got a massive spot on his forehead. Although it's not actually a spot, right? It's the laser of the gun of the assassin that McLaren Shadow have hired to shoot me if I get anywhere close to his lap time. But anyway, let's see how Mr. F1 Esports World Champion has done then, shall we? I've got the video here. Let's go. All right, so I have been challenged by none other than the Aiden to jump on a track and uh, set the best lap I can just hopping on. We're going to jump on Austria because, you know, it should be, how do I say this nicely, the easiest track for Aiden to get up the speed to. Let's go, so heading out the last corner, want to make sure you get yourself as good a run as possible and then you're heading up towards turn one, you want to open it up on the left. Oh, not quite using enough curb on the inside, DRS open shortly, on, shortly after on that exit and then you want to minimise the lock heading towards the hairpin, use the curb on the left, breaking uh, around 100 metres, and then we come into the high speed middle sector where you want to really rotate the car around. One more corner to negotiate. Oh, I really rotate the car. DRS open, and I guess that is our first lap of three. So let me actually try and see if I can improve. Oh, a bit too much rotation, losing the time, but we've got plenty in the middle to make up. It's a little bit understeering compared to what I'm used to, so we'll. We'll dial it back a little bit and get ready for the last run. Setting up the last corner, not really too bothered if we improve this lap or not, but we actually do anyway. So yeah, one more try, heading into turn one. Not too shabby through there. And then we've got this downhill braking zone. So easy to lock up. Quite sure we'll see a few lock ups from Aiden into there. Much nicer through there. Not quite getting it all hooked up just yet. Um, but two more, two more corners to go. Oh! Ah, we don't count that, it's millimetres, it's whatever. Um, and yeah, I think we did a 102.930 in three laps. Only 0.17 off the world record, I think, if that's so. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Not sure it's going to be that easy for Aiden to get up to speed in those laps. Best of luck, try not to lock up, and um, if you're struggling to find pace, just drive faster. Works 100% of the time. So we have our target, lads. A one minute, two seconds, point nine three zero. Easy. Light work, lads. Come on then, let's get on with it. Right, first lap. Prepare yourself, Lucas. You're gonna lose already. Into turn one. Uh, we, yep, yep, that's the racing line. Fucking hell, this is gonna be a long day. Now, I've not actually played F123 before, lads. I've downloaded it yesterday. I used to love playing the F1 games back in the day, but I didn't have any space in my house in Manchester to bring my sim rig with me, so I've left it at home in Cornwall, so I don't really get a chance to drive on it very much. 
But don't get it twisted. I am a fucking very good driver. Ignore the fact I've just spun on the gravel. Right, let's try and get a banker lap in here. Don't have to be anything special. A oh, one minute, 6.8. So only like four seconds slower. Lovely. It's fine. I can definitely do a lot better than that. I know I can. Oh, running wide. Arse is gone. I've gone off. It out. So at this point, it was obvious that some research may be needed. And thus, I did what any other true racing driver would do and turned to the experts for their help. Welcome, guys, to another track guide on F122. This time, we're going to be taking a look at the shortest circuit on the calendar. Austria. Right, so I think it's pretty clear, lads, I'm going to need a setup on this car. So let's just steal one of one of the top drivers here. There we go. And now, with this setup installed, lads, we should be absolutely flying. Oh, yeah, immediately you feel the difference. Already half a second up on this lap already. Let's just not bottle it. Oh, look at the time going down. Look. Oh, that's a nice lap. That's a lovely lap. 1 minute 5.728. Not too bad. Still like three seconds off what I need to be hitting, but... I'll take it. I think the setup that these eSports drivers drive with to be fast is quite arsey, and it's just catch me a bit off guard in the high-speed corners, to most of you, like that. Just trying to carry the speed into that final corner, the arse just, woo! Why don't I just stop chatting and just drive the car? So, with my newfound speed from the setup, I stripped off my hoodie to improve airflow, and continued to push lap after lap, occasionally finding a bit of time and even setting a new PB, but most of my time was just spent exploring the gravel. You right, lads? You enjoying the show there, are you? Yeah, right on, Bert. Yeah, nice view, and it is. You can't drive, can you? Spinning round and round and round like a bloody tornado, you are. What's your thoughts on Lucas Blakely? Oh, that Blakely, he's washed. He is washed, I tell you. I got more bloody skill on my left toe than he's got in his old body, mate. I tell you that. But here, can I tell you something? What? 97% of people are watching this video are not subscribed. That's right, 97% of you lot watching this video have not pressed subscribe on this channel, even though you're enjoying the video. So stop what you're doing right now. Go down there, press subscribe. I was like, find out where you live, and I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to run over you and all your family. Nice one. Cheers for that, lads. I'm off. So I got back at it, driving lap after lap for hour after hour, trying my best to maximise every single corner until I finally made a revelation. So, lads, you might have noticed that throughout this video so far, I've been using the cockpit camera, right? I just prefer it when using the racing wheel if it was a bit more, you know, realistic, I suppose. But I just, you know, for the sake of experimenting, changed to the TV pod and I've suddenly gone nearly half a second quicker in the first lap. So, I have a feeling we're going to make some improvements here, boys. <laughs> We're almost like four temps up here. Oh, that's a lovely corner. Why would you have to fucking bottle it? I shouldn't have said anything. As the day turned into night, I continued to try and eke out as much time as I could, pushing as close to and usually over the limits of the car, all in my pursuit of the world chimp. And just as so I was beginning to spiral with frustration, my dad decided that he wanted to have a go, which made me feel a little bit better. Oh, <laughs> well, at least we know it runs in the family. So with that, I decided to call it a night and headed to bed, where, even with my eyes closed, I could not escape the track, as all I could see in my dreams that night was the circuit, with my brain retaking each corner over and over until I got it just right. My life had now become this circuit. Every inch needed to be perfected, and I couldn't stop until I had done so. Out there. It's the perfect lap. No mistakes. Every gear change, every corner. Perfect. You see it? I think so. Most people can't. Most people don't even know it's out there, but it is. It's there. Rise and shine, boys. It's day two. Lucas, I hope you slept well, lad, because that's going to be the last good night's sleep you're ever going to get. So we had a decent day yesterday. Made a lot of progress throughout the day. Got a lot more confident with the car and the track and the feel of the game. But we sort of plateaued a little bit and I couldn't really get below that one minute 4.5. But I'm definitely quicker at certain points in the lap. It's just going to be a case of trying to hook a lap up where I get every corner right. And we only have about three hours left to do it. So let's crack on. And crack on I did. 
As for the next few hours, I was pushing hard. I needed this win, so much so that I even got some advice from the only man more qualified than an F1 Esports World Champion, two-time F1 Esports World Champion, Brendan Lee. I think the main area of improvement is track usage. Basically, what you're looking to do on Austria is all about using the curb. Every single entry to the corners, you want to be over the curb as much as possible, putting the tire basically on top of the white line. Turn five, use up all the curbing on the right hand side, go up the white line. And on the exit of turn five, use up all of the Astro turf all the way up to the gravel trap in fact. On turn seven, the second to last corner, uh, you bottomed out with the car slightly on the inside curbing. So only put two tires on the curb there. And then on the final corner, uh, use as much curb on the inside and outside as possible. And like this, you'll find a lot of lap time. Uh, like I say, your driving style is good. Your throttle braking positions are good as well just to use up more track and this will allow you more of a flowing nature and to extract a bit more lap time by doing so. So with the advice of Brendan fresh in my mind, it was now full send for the final hour or so as I desperately tried to improve my lap time to get closer to Lucas. We're green in turn one, lads. Nobody panic. Then as well why is this so hard so we've got 10 minutes left on the clock now lads not long at all can we get the perfect lap in here now in the dying moments i'm praying that we can we've been close many times we just can't keep the car together i can't hook up the lap and lord knows i've been trying for long enough for 24 hours this game has been my life this track has been all i've looked at can we at least pull a couple more temps out the bag jesus come on lad there's 10 corners only 10 corners i've got to get right 120 left, this is it, it's the last lap, that's all I've got left. It's do or die now, lads, come on. Come on, come on. Out there is the perfect lap. No mistakes, every gear change, every corner. Perfect. You see it. No! No! <laughs> no! We spun it! Oh, lads! We wouldn't have gained much anyway, maybe a tenth at best. Oh, boys and girls, and just like that, the challenge is over. In 24 hours, I managed to set a best lap time of 1 minute, 4 seconds, 0.565. Over one and a half seconds off Lucas. I'll be honest with you, lads, I could have beaten him this entire time. I've just been holding back because, you know, it's not fair to ruin his entire career by beating him on the first time out, is it? So, Lucas, you're welcome, lad. Thank you for watching this video, lads. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you want to see more from me, there'll be a link on screen to another video now. You can click it, watch more of me shouting. And yeah, until next time, lads, stay safe and I'll see you later.